हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट क्रिटिकल एंगल एंड टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन सो लेट स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो सो व्हाट इज क्रिटिकल एंगल क्रिटिकल एंगल इज डिफाइन एज दैट एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस एट व्हिच एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन इज 90 डिग्री वी नो दैट व्हेन अ लाइट मूव फ्रॉम डेंसर टू रेयरर मीडियम it bends away from the normal if the angle of incidence is such that the angle of refraction is 90 degree that angle of incidence is called critical angle what i mean is suppose this is the medium one this is denser medium and this is rarer medium a medium which has high value of refractive index so if we call this medium one this is mu one if we call this medium two which is mu two and in this case we have mu1 is greater than mu2 so medium 1 is called denser medium and a medium 2 is called rarer medium and we know that when a light moves from denser to rarer medium it bends away from the normal suppose this is the incident light this is falling on this surface so perpendicular to this surface will be this line now it will not follow the straight line it will bend from its path and if it is moving from denser to rarer, the slide will move, not, it will not go in the straight path, it will bend away from the normal. So this was the straight path, so it bends away from the normal. This is our normal axis, normal or perpendicular to the surface at which it strikes. Now, this is incident ray, this is refracted ray. This is called angle of incidence, this is called angle of refraction, because this is our refracted ray. We were expecting that it will go straight, but when it moves from one medium to another, so denser to rarer medium, when it moves, it bends away from its path. Right? So this is our refracted rate, this is our incident rate. This is angle of refract angle of incidence and this is angle of refraction. Now, if we further increase the angle of incidence, it will bend more. If we further increase, it will bend more. At some particular incidence, at some particular angle of incidence, it will go perpendicular. The angle of refraction becomes 90 degree. Then that angle of incidence is called critical angle. The angle of incidence at which angle of refraction is 90 degree. So this is our normal axis. Again, same medium. This is denser medium and this is rarer medium. What we did, we increase the angle of incidence so that light will bend more. If suppose this is angle 60 degree, we increase further angle of incidence. That becomes 75 degree. If we further increase the angle of incidence, then angle of refraction becomes 90 degree. So that angle of incidence is called critical angle. So that angle of incidence at which angle of refraction is. 90 degree. Suppose if we want to calculate that angle of incidence, we know the refractive index of medium 1 and medium 2. So we will use the Snell's law. We will use Snell's law. What is Snell's law state? Mu1 sin i. That is equal to mu2 sin r. This is our Snell's law. Suppose refractive index of this medium is mu1, medium 2 is mu2. So this angle of incidence is critical angle. So mu1 sin ic that is equal to mu2 refractive index of medium 2 angle angle of refraction is 90 degree. So that is mu2 sin 90 degree. <coughs> so sin ic that will be equal to sin 90 value of sin 90 is 1. So that will be equal to mu2 by mu1. So angle of critical angle is defined as sin inverse of medium 2 with respect to medium 1 so when a, it occurs only when light move from denser to rarer if this is rarer medium this is denser then it light bends towards the normal so the critical angle the angle of refraction will never be 90 degree if a light move from rarer to denser so for critical angle to occur light must move from denser to rarer first condition and that angle of incidence is that critical angle is given by sin inverse of mu2 by mu1. So next we'll see what is total internal reflection. Let's discuss about the total internal 
reflection. Up to now we have seen a critical angle. So we want to if we further increase the angle of angle of incidence more than the critical angle, what will happen? See, we saw that when a light moves from denser to rarer medium, it bends away from the normal. If we increase that angle of if angle of incidence is equal to critical angle, that angle of refraction. This is incident rate, this is refracted rate, then angle of refraction is 90 degree. Then that angle of incident is called critical angle. If we further increase the angle of incidence, right, what will happen? So, from this diagram you see, this is the normal. If the angle of incidence is less than critical angle, it was, this was the angle of refraction, this was the angle of incidence. So, this is the incident rate, this is refracted rate. If we increase that angle of incident, we reach to the condition of critical angle. If we further increase that angle of, what will happen? If we further increase the angle of incidence is more than the critical angle, then the light will further move away from the normal, means it will be reflected back into the same medium. So this is not a reflection, this is total internal reflection. Now. This is our reflected ray. This is denser medium. This is rarer medium. So this is called total internal reflection. When a light moves from, see, bending of a light into the same medium. When the angle of incidence, the condition is this angle of incidence must be greater than critical angle. Then the light bends into the same medium. So that is called total internal reflection. See, this is denser medium, this is rarer medium. So, condition for occurrence of total internal reflection. So, condition for occurrence of total internal reflection. So, first condition is that light must move from denser to rarer. Only then it is possible. Light must move from denser to light moves from denser to rarer. And the second condition is and the second condition is this angle of incidence must be greater than critical angle. So second condition for occurrence of total internal reflection is angle of incidence. Angle of incidence must be greater than greater than critical angle so these two conditions are fulfilled only then the phenomena of total internal reflection will occur so optical fibers work from the principle of total internal reflection light propagates through optical fiber on the basis of on the phenomena of total internal reflection so, when a light, we saw that a light moves from denser to rarer, it bends away from the normal, this is the process one. So, if we saw that if angle of incidence is, if we further increase the angle of incidence, this angle of refraction will be more. So, at some particular angle of incidence, the angle of refraction is 90 degree, that is called our critical angle. So, this angle of incidence is called critical angle. We also derive the formula for this critical angle. And for and third, we saw total internal reflection. If we further increase, if the angle of incidence we further increase, light will further bend away from the normal. Means angle of refraction will be more than 90 degree, or we can say light will be reflected into the same medium in which it was traveling. So this phenomena is called total internal reflection. Means bending of a light into the same medium in which it is traveling. If the angle of incidence is greater than critical angle. So condition, these two conditions are very important. So that will decide in an optical fiber which has high value of refractive index, core or a cladding. So the first condition is that this medium must be denser, this is rarer. Second is angle of incidence must be greater than critical angle. So in the next class we will discuss about the optical fiber.